A well-known Black Lives Matter protester is once again claiming he has been targeted by law enforcement. This time because he was arrested at the scene of yesterday's FBI agent-involved shooting. But as News 13's Brittany Bage shows us, deputies say he very clearly broke the law. Well, Kim, we have two different video perspectives of Clifton White's arrest yesterday. One from his wife and the other from the arresting Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy. No! Your back. No! No! no. For what? For what? With the, crime scene. the cuffs go on. Clifton White, about two minutes into Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies, repeatedly telling White and his wife, Celinda Guerrero, to get out of the crime scene. <sighs> Black Lives Matter, but you ain't going to create that. <laughs> Black Lives Matter so much. I'm going to use this one life I got. To not create nothing. <laughs> Black Lives Matter so much. That. I know sisters is the most unmarried group on the planet. The least married group on the planet. I'm not going to marry one. <laughs> black Lives Matter so much. I'm going to show that Black Lives Matter by running up on crime scenes where criminal suspects are fighting with cops. Some guy out on bond for armed robbery or attempted murder is being arrested again <laughs> and fighting and struggling with cops to get shot. I'm going to run up on the scene and be his advocate posthumously and that's how I'm going to prove Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Wow. No! No! For what? For what? For your favorite, the, crime scene. the cuffs go on. Clifton White, about two minutes into Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies, repeatedly telling White and his wife, Celinda Guerrero, to get out of the crime scene. Tied to yesterday's deadly FBI agent involved shooting. What's going on, guys? Lapel video shows White and Guerrero walking towards the yellow crime scene tape and then walk around a tree, finding a gap in the tape. This is as far as you need to go. You don't get to tell me nothing. I'm, don't I'm telling read you. my rights? Am I arrest or something? No, but this, yeah, is, a a this is a crime this scene. Is this is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. Man, get a job. <laughs> McDonald's is $15 an hour to work at McDonald's, man. All across the country, they're hiring. Everywhere, man. They have too many jobs now because, of course, people are sitting home because they're getting paid to sit home. They're getting these, um, these, these, well, the first they got the PPP loans. <laughs> those guys, those people go into jail, though, when they catch up with them because that's fraud. But they also have the, um, unemployment checks that everybody's getting. So, they still getting unemployment, man. So people, people sitting home, man. People ain't going to look. So, if you looking for a job, something to do with your time, other than this, man. Think about it. If McDonald's paying $15 an hour, that shows you that the job market is superb right now, man. I tell you all the time, if I wasn't a YouTuber... I'd go work at McDonald's and just work there until I found a better job. I but I wouldn't wouldn't just sit around waiting for a job. I'd go work at McDonald's. Fifteen dollars an hour to work at McDonald's. Now these this fool right here, man, and his wife, man. God. There's so many people like this in this country right now. So many of these people. These people are not rare. 
So, but this gives you an insight. This episode gives you an insight into what's this. So many people like this right now that are trying to. They, the, the last bit of this BLM grift. This BLM grift is almost over, man. He would have been better off getting involved doing this stuff a couple years ago. So then when everything hit, he would have been right there at the, you know, at the vanguard of it. But now he's just trying to get the last little crumbs of this BLM, BLM grift. This stuff is sad, man. What's going on, guys? Lapel video shows White and Guerrero walking towards the yellow crime scene tape and then walk around a tree, finding a gap in the tape. This is as far as you need to go. You don't get to tell me nothing. I'm, don't I'm you read my rights? Am I under arrest or something? No, but this, yeah, is, a this is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. This is a crime scene. There's no yellow tape there. We know a black man was murdered by police here today. The FBI has not identified the man killed in yesterday's shooting, but White and Guerrero are well-known Black Lives Matter protesters, helping organize last summer's protests following the murder of George Floyd. There's no jurisdiction. No. This is how they respond to at the time, White Dan Guerrero claimed he was targeted for his role in the protest. But APD and the mayor's office said he was arrested for violating his parole on a number of violent charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, armed robbery, and drug trafficking. Who's shocked that this guy's a career criminal? Hit one if you're shocked by that. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all a second to get your wits about you. Because I know that was... <laughs> I was surprised right there. Career criminal. Who's been arrested all these times and never been killed. Who knows, just from his own extensive criminal record and his own arrest history, the probability of being killed during arrest is almost like getting struck by lightning. Literally. Most people don't know this, but the people who subscribe to this channel know this very well there's 17,985 police departments in this country think about that and they're all working every day none of them take a day off 17,985 police departments Okay, so when you have a huge country like the United States, America, huge country, I mean, huge country, 350 million people plus, I mean, we're almost the size, we're bigger than Europe, bigger than China. Like almost like half the size of Africa. <laughs> Huge country. Huge, huge country. Seventeen thousand nine hundred and eighty five police departments. I'm sitting in one, you're sitting in one. Now however many people we got in the chat, if we're all in different places, we're all probably sitting in different jurisdictions run by different departments. That's a lot of arrest every day. That's a lot of interactions every day in this great country of ours.
A lot, man. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, just for you guys that are new, I want you guys to understand that, like, why, you know, we have that perspective on it's not a big deal when somebody gets has a bad interaction with a cop. And if you can find one exposing it to us and putting the spotlight on this on it and you know rubbing our faces in this one interaction why we don't take that as no big deal it would be like me going to the supermarket or the grocery store and having a nasty cashier and trying to act like every cashier is like that because the lady who I, who rang me up was kind of rude and short with me. It's just ridiculous. And this guy knows that because he's been arrested countless times and obviously he's very much alive. There's no jurisdiction. No. At the time, White Dan Guerrero claimed he was targeted for his role in the protest. But APD and the mayor's office said he was arrested for violating his parole on a number of violent charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, armed robbery, and drug trafficking. At yesterday's scene, We are not a threat to your scene. The couple instantly becomes combative with deputies. Hey, here, my name order. is Clifton White. What are you going to do? Okay. So Touch me. I'm not. You already know. So don't give me no orders. I'm, I'm trying not, to use my not, words. No, you Let's don't use my words. To talk to me. Stop talking to me. After several rounds of name calling and repeated refusal to get out of the federal crime scene, I said back. I said back out of the scene. Deputies arrested White. What are you gonna do? Plant some evidence? No, I'm not. Hey. Both. Look at these two Latino cops, man. <laughs> these dudes could be. <laughs> His wife's brothers. <laughs> like these is two Mexican American cops, man. Just doing their job. <laughs> this fool just giving them a hard time, man. <laughs> Trying to act like he is some guy some some racial Batman swooping down on the scene. <laughs> He's the only black guy. <laughs> it's four people right here. These two Mexicans, his Mexican wife, and him. This, this is the Twilight Zone, man. This is literally the Twilight Zone. There's only four people standing right here. He he's like racers and ray out. You gonna plant some evidence? Plant some evidence? My G, you on parole. You gonna stop committing crimes? Nah, that's, that's racist. You can't ask him to do that. But this is just insane, man. This is... And it's a lot of people like this, man. Like, he's not like some rare bird. Like he's a, I'm you. This is the thing you understand. I'm crazy. I'm the um, oddball, the misfit in his community. I'm the crazy one. The way you guys are looking at him is the same way people in the stand look at me. After several rounds of name calling and repeated refusal to get out of the federal crime scene, deputies arrested White. What are you gonna do? Plant some evidence? No, I'm not. Hey. Both cameras still rolling. White is led to a BCSO cruiser and starts yelling to his wife that he is being choked. He just grabbed him by the throat. But on lapel camera, it's clear to see that simply did not happen. You're uh, grabbing by my throat. This is your show. You hurt me by my throat. This is your show. My man has single-handedly set back the movement, man. Make sure y'all share this too, man. 
share this video, man. Salute to all you guys that do share this video. Somebody was saying they shared this on 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 um another channel and I appreciate this, man. But share this video. You have to see he's literally saying he's being choked. They begged for body cams. Body cams, body cams. We need body cams. <laughs> okay. You can have body cams. And look what we're seeing through those body cams. Look what those body cams are exposing. Deputies arrested White. What are you gonna do, plant some evidence? No, I'm not. Hey. Both cameras still rolling. White is led to a BCSO cruiser and starts yelling to his wife that he is being choked. He just grabbed him by the throat! But on lapel camera, it's clear to see that simply did not happen. Uh, You're grabbing by my throat? This is your shoulder? You're grabbing by my throat? This is your shoulder? Now, deputies say White had high blood pressure and received medical treatment. He is now facing charges, including obstruction and assault on a peace officer. Kim? Okay, thank you, Brittany. He was released from jail late last night, ROR'd, without having to post a bail. Now, following White's parole violation arrest last summer, he did have to serve several months behind bars.